Welcome to SNN. Today is Friday, February 17th, 2012. It is a Hawk Day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. You did hear the part about it being a Hawk Day, right? It doesn't happen often, but today is another Hawk Day. Hope you remembered your instruments. It is also the day of much awaited, much anticipated, the variety show. It will be a show to really get your heart racing. Might need a stethoscope. Today is a big day in the world of health and science. A Frenchman by the name of René Lenach was born on this day in 1781. He invented the stethoscope. Wonder how he came up with that. Was it magic? Actually, no. He said his invention of the stethoscope was inspired by seeing children play with a hollow stick. Look at this. Could be a musical instrument. He played the flute and said it was also an inspiration. In Lennox Day, a doctor listened to a patient by putting, the, by putting his ear to the patient's chest. But Lennox was uncomfortable with this method. Two words. Personal space. The story goes, a particularly plump, older woman complained to him of heart problems. He was uncomfortable with, well... You get the idea. Lenach recalled that the sound often traveled better through a wooden cylinder. So he rolled two sheets of paper into a tube, placed one end of the tube to the woman's chest and the other to his ear. Thus, hearing the heart beats much more clearly. Lenach called the instrument a stethoscope. From the Greek words meaning to examine the chest. And created the first practical ones from wood in 1816. He, he's known as the father of chest medicine, and today is his birthday. I like that his name is Lenac, but it should be La Chest. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know we have to say something about the doodle for Google here. Inventions are a great inspiration for doodles. Just think, when the light bulb was invented, or even the stethoscope. Go forward or back in time, draw an image of your very own. The choice of where you would like to go should be in your doodle. There are a few other details, but if you can't win... You should try. Deadline is March 20th. For more details, check with Mrs. Richards in room 1, 2, 3. Or visit the website here, Doodle for Google, and check it out. It's not too late. Sign up for the CEF Phonathon. Food plus money and phones equals a winning equation. Just add your name to the sign up sheet in the LMC. Volunteer to help out on the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd. Next Tuesday through Thursday from 6.15 to 8.30 p.m. at the Camas District offices. You can volunteer for all three days or just one. The refreshments are amazing. Unlimited pizza, soda, cookies, brownies, chips. Sign up with a friend today. There's still time. Also next week, Oklahoma auditions. From 3 to 5 p.m. in the quiet room. Once more, listen to this change. Stage crew and ushers do not need to attend this audition. You do need to be signed up, but you do not need to go to the, au to the audition. Singers and actors only. Remember, you must be prepared with a two-minute song from a Broadway or Disney show that is not Oklahoma. Questions about it? Talk with Miss Manzo. The 21st is like the biggest night ever. There are lots of things going on on that evening. One more. This one is an informational <coughs> meeting about a trip to Poland. It's this summer from June 21st through July 1st. The meeting is at Liberty Middle School at 7 p.m. Learn about travel costs, host families, and other travel details. Again, that's Tuesday the 21st. One more thing. The variety show starts at 12.45 today. Be a great audience. Students and staff have worked extra hard for the last few weeks to give us this extravaganza. Also remember, there's no school on Monday in honor of President's Day. Today is also Michael Jordan's birthday. He is considered by many basketball's greatest ever player. Nicknamed Air Jordan because he could do all this stuff. Cut from his Wilmington, North Carolina basketball team as a sophomore, Jordan eventually made the team and led it to state championship. He won the Sporting News College Player of the Year two years plus the Naismith and Wooden Awards. He was league leader in scoring with 10 titles. And if that's not enough, he also was on the two gold Olympic gold medal teams in 1984 and 1992. The Chicago Bulls retired his number 23 jersey when he left the game. Wow! wow. Here's one of his quotes. I can accept failure, but I can't accept not trying. Have a great day. A nice restful weekend and enjoy today's variety show. Woo! <laughs> Breaking news from Hedwig the Hawk. All variety show participants, please plan on meeting in the gym at noon today. Thanks.
Remember to follow the sky code, which means be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. This has been Isabella and Becca. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. Ready, begin. I. I